the key issue is with speed and security. So what I can say is that um, we need to deliver very quick and secure solutions to our customers. Uh, but without cyber flows back then, it was a challenge. Uh, and um, the key issue is we want to get uh, time to market of our applications uh, for our customers in a secure manner. So the Cyberflow projects is really to enable our developers to focus on the core competency, which is developing secure program for the customer. So uh, there's so many different vulnerabilities out there. Uh, we've got web application, we've got mobile applications, and they all require different tooling to be able to discover vulnerabilities. Cyberflow is essentially uh, combine all these tooling into one single platform so that it can be automated and streamlined for our developers to reuse it very easily. At the same time, abstract the security details as well as the tooling details away from the developers. So scanning uh, through the um, tooling will trigger manually. And um, mainly the, there's complicated configurations for the developer to create. And that is kind of waste a lot of time on the programmer's part, uh, unable to let them focus on their core competency. Another one is obviously a long adoption time. So we've got so many tools out there. Each time there's a reconfiguration in tooling, it will spend a lot of time doing that. And finally, obviously there's a very costly and complicated review process. And hence, we want to shorten them and we want to be able to uh, allow the complexity out of the developer. So Cyberflow allow us to unifyly consume uh, all the security tools in one platform. At the same time, uh, Cyberflow enable us to really practice our uh, shift left in terms of DevSecOps, giving the developers uh, the power to uh, consume security tooling in a self-service manner. And at the same time, it allow us to consolidate all risk findings into a single platform, which has never been done before. So there are a number of benefits to the Cyberflow solution. The first one and the very critical one is obviously to allow the developers to self-service and consume cybersecurity tools through Cyberflows. It enables the developers to truly shift left and empower them so that we can move at an agile speed. Another clear benefit is consistent configuration because there's many different tools in cybersecurity and it's paramount importance that we have them configured in a consistent manner. And of course, the clear ownership of risk remediation is also of paramount importance. Um, finally, we do not need to worry about who owns what, but we have a clear visibility into the risk remediation as well as the risk identified during scanning. So obviously, one of the key trends right now is automation. We want to automate all the manual processes because they are costly and they are insecure and inefficient. We want to automate all the mundane tasks as well as to provide a kind of way to embed all the security into the development lifecycle. Only in this way can we deliver a quick and secure solution to our customer. We want to continue to move to a data-driven organization. So not only uh, in IT, but in cybersecurity, we really want to have the data that's been used as an arsenal, as a weapon, so that we can be transparent to the vulnerabilities and have them remediated.